So you updated to Windows 11 25 H2 and something just feels off, right? You're not alone. Thousands of users are reporting the same thing after this update. But here's the good news. I'm going to show you how to fix it using a free app called Windtoys. This app has all the important Windows settings in one place, plus those hidden settings that normally require registry tweaks, so you don't have to risk breaking anything. If this sounds helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and drop a like. By the end of this video, your Windows 11 is going to feel brand new. So first, let's install Windtoys on on your computer. Go here to your start menu and go to the Microsoft Store and here on top search for the Windows application. Now here on this list you will find the Windows application. Just click on it and click on install right here. It's totally free to use by the way and once you have it installed just click here on open. So here, once you have the Windows application open, you will find the apps option. And from this list, you can pretty much uninstall any of the unwanted applications, even Copilot, for example. So here, if I go to the Copilot, click on the three dots and I can click here on uninstall. You can see that Copilot is actually running. So the next thing which we will have to do is to right click on the taskbar and let's go here to the task manager where I will try to find here the Copilot and here I'm gonna click on end task. And now if I close here the task manager, we can go back to the Copilot app here on Windows. Let's click here on uninstall and you can see here that we successfully just removed the Copilot from Windows 11 25 H2. So yeah, this is pretty much the section where you guys can remove any of the unwanted applications. Now let's continue here with the services. Pretty much you can see here how many of the services are there running on my system. So in this case, 101. And pretty much you can also stop them right here as well if in case something doesn't work on your computer. So you can also find this option services quite useful inside the Windows application. Now let's go here to the next tab, which is super cool because it allows you to tweak some of the settings which are actually quite hidden inside the Windows settings itself. Now here on top, we have one really important option, which is Ultimate Performance Power Plan, which allows components to consume all the power they need for maximum performance. So if you have a desktop computer with powerful hardware, I highly recommend that you guys enable this feature and you guys can click here to enable the power options. But I think this can be only enabled for desktop computers. Down below, we also have startup applications. Now we can click here to configure and and now you can see here how many of the applications will actually start up when I turn on my computer. Now, I recommend that you guys pretty much turn off every single application you have here, unless you have, for example, a Razer software or something like that, that you actually need on a daily basis. I recommend that you guys have this pretty much turned on right here, but some of the applications which you pretty much don't need, for example, OneDrive or maybe even Windows Terminal and Microsoft Teams, I highly recommend that you guys turn them off right here. And then here we can also turn off the background apps, just toggle this option off and your computer should run much smoother with this toggle turned to off. Now here we also have this very important setting for the privacy. So you can see this activity history and it apparently keeps track of apps and services you use, the files you open and the websites you browse. I highly recommend that you guys turn this option to off so your computer will be way more private. And then we have also here visual settings. So Windows UI related settings, we can click here and you can also enable this option to optimize visual effects for performance. Now, if we toggle this option to on, we can also click here. You can see here that it adjusted here for the best performance we can click on OK and that way your system should feel a whole lot more responsive. Now here you can also toggle off transparency if you have a really bad GPU, but your Windows 11 will then look a bit worse. So I highly recommend that you guys have this option turned on. Then here we also have gaming settings. And if you don't game on your computer, I pretty much highly recommend that you guys turn this option to off here. So game mode and also Windows mode optimization. Now for the search indexing, we can click here on the options and we will be here redirected to the search history. And down below we will find my files option where I highly recommend that you guys turn this option to on, so enhance. So this will allow you to search your entire PC. So you will be pretty much able to find every single file on your computer way more efficiently with this option turned on. 
And down below, we have also delivery optimization. You can also put this option to on. And let's go here to the health. And then we have here the cleanup. For example, you can clean up the storage on your computer, file explorer, Microsoft store, network, and also system restore. For example, if you have some of the system restore points, you can easily click here on this trash can. And here you can see that I have actually zero of the bytes. And uh, yeah, this is quite cool. But for example, for some of you guys, we'll have here plenty of the gigabytes, for example, 10, 20. And you guys can simply just remove system restore points from this simple menu. Then we have the repair options like the system file checker, deployment imaging servicing management, and also check disk options. And then for the system updates here, we can also toggle this option from default to security manually or even to disabled. So if you don't want to get any of the updates on Windows 11, you can also disable them by using here the Windows application. And then we have here app updates, which you can also toggle off. Now down below, we also have some of the tweaks. So these tweaks are also very useful for Windows 11 users. And for example, here on top, we have first, for example, if you want to remove the recycle bin from your desktop, you can just easily toggle this option to off and the recycle bin should be just removed from your desktop. As you can see, it just disappeared. And then here we have the widgets. We can also toggle this option to off. Then shortcut arrow, we can also toggle this option to off. And then here down below, we also have show desktop option. So pretty much we can also disable this as well. And here you can also enable classic context menu. So here, this is the right-click context menu, which Windows 11 comes by default. However, if we enable this option right here, I think we will also have to restart our computer. So I will show you how this feature actually works just in a bit. And then here we also have a wallpaper quality. This is currently set to 85, but you guys can also increase this to 100 if you want to. And then we have here the start menu. Pretty much you can disable here, include web results when searching. And then also here how to install suggestions. We can also turn this option to off. And then we have also file explorer options. So I highly recommend that you guys turn this option to on. So show file extension. Then we have here show hidden and system files. You can leave this to off. Then we have here show files after extraction is complete. We can leave this option to on as well. Then you can also enable here classic interface of file explorer, but I think that the new one also looks very, very nice. And then here down below, we can also go to the privacy settings. So pretty much I highly recommend that you guys turn every single option here to off. For example, location, telemetry, apps telemetry, app launches tracking. So pretty much make sure that you put every single option here to off. Off because that way you will have way more privacy on your Windows 11 computer. And same stands true for the ads as well. So pretty much turn this every single option to off. So tailored experiences, advertising ID, homepage in the settings app and stuff like that. So pretty much turn every single option here to off. And then we have here the system. For example, if you want, you can also enable clock with seconds here. So you will see here the seconds inside the system tray here. Then we have the end task option. So if I right click here, you can see that we have also end task option right here. You don't have to actually go here to the task manager and the application there. And then we have also here snipping with the print screen key, mouse acceleration, make sure that you also turn this to off. And then we have here the super user. For example, you can enable God mode, developer mode, or even user account control. And then we have here also user choice protection driver. Make sure that you have this option set to on. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it how this program actually works. Here you will find, as I said in the intro of the video, some of the settings from the settings app and then also some of the hidden settings which are very useful to have inside of the app because you don't have to actually go through the registry settings and change them there. This app will do it for you. I think this app is very useful for tweaking Windows 11 and it actually makes your Windows 11 way more private and way more fluid than before. So yeah, this is pretty much Windows toys, you guys can get this app from the Microsoft store. And I will also put a link for it in the video description down below as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next video. And now after the restart, we can also see here this old right click context menu from Windows 10. So if you want that, you can also enable this through the Windows application.